Hi folks, I'm Kirby. I'm back uh, with another video where I'm testing things so you don't have to. Uh, this time we're doing paper towels to see if they are worth the uh, price. Um, we have a brand name, a couple non-brand names. I'm being joined today by my youngest spawn. Uh, my oldest one is behind the camera making things difficult. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, a few different tests, absorbency, strength, uh, seepage with eggs. And uh, so we're going to get going from there. Oh, so real quick, uh, before we get to it, uh, price. So if you divide the cost of everything by the number of sheets, um, dollar store brand, it comes out to seven tenths of a cent per sheet. Bounty, 1.7 cents per sheet. And our little generic brand from our, uh, from our local store comes out to 1.8 cents per sheet. So this economical stuff is actually more expensive than Bounty. So we'll just have to see if it passes muster when it comes to absorbency and everything else, see if it's actually worth the money. All right, so first up, we're gonna do a little absorbency test. Uh, now, one of the things I did to make it fair, so it's gonna be fair, the um, dollar store brand, the sheets were only five inches wide. The other ones were 5.7 and 5.9, so I uh, used a paper cutter and actually trimmed them all down to five inches each. So first up, we're gonna do an absorbency test. We got one and a half tablespoons of colored water. First up, the bounty. And not a problem, even with some cloth to spare. All right, next up, we're going to do the dollar store brand. And this bond's going to be the official soaker upper. Oh, it's complete or pretty much completely soaked and not all of it is on. All right, so. Yep. All right, so it's uh, not quite as absorbent as the bounty. It would probably take like one and a third paper towel. Exactly. All right. And then finally, the other generic, say where you are, the other generic brand. It's actually more a expensive. fraction more expensive per sheet than the bounty. She looks like it pretty much got all of it. It did get all of it, and there's yeah, it looks like it was about the same amount. Uh, it, know, didn't have, just... it didn't have as much left over, but there was. It's just shy. It got um, all of it with no leftover. Okay. Moving on. All right, so next up we're going to do a strength test sort of thing. We're going to soak the paper towels completely so they're completely saturated, and we're going to see if it lifts an egg without tearing through. So first up is the bounty. All right, put the egg on there. Put the egg on there. You should pull it taut. Alright, well. It does the egg just fine. Next is the dollar store brand. Okay. Oh. Mm -mm. Not quite as strong, and it cracks. Oh no. It's fine. Okay. Lastly is the other generic brand. All right, egg. All right, it is at least strong as bounty. Okay. All right. So the dollar store one, not quite up to snuff for seven tenths of a cent. We can still use this to like crack. Disclaimer, no eggs were wasted in the process of making this video. Okay. So, our final test is a seepage kind of test. Um, we're going to crack an egg on the paper towel and uh, hold the spawn behind the camera. It's going to time, see how long it actually takes for the egg to seep through. Um, I'm not actually sure what this is going to tell us and thickness and yeah. strength and durability and all that kind of stuff. All right. Bounty's up first. 
Ready? Yep. All right. So are you going from the second that it like pours through or when it like falls? No, as soon as it starts to seep. Anything? Not yet. I feel like once it hits a minute, we should stop it. Uh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. All right, so the bounty at least made 30 seconds. Can I hold the next one? We'll see how the other ones go. Okay, so next up is the dollar store brand. Right in the timer. And we'll go with that. Okay. I see it's soaking a little bit, but waiting it's for a drip. Getting heavy. Well, not getting heavy, but it's like. Oh, I see a drip for me. I can feel it. Oh, yeah, me too. Wait for. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's it. 18 seconds. 18 seconds. Okay. Drop the egg. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Last but not least is the generic brand that is slightly more expensive than the Bounty. I have a feeling you're angry about this. Oh! Alright, time. I see yep. something forming. Yep. yep, it's coming through. Time. Wait, it has to fall. No, it doesn't. No. 17.6 seconds. So what we've learned from this is simply done is more expensive and the worst. That's right. So where's where's my bounty? That. So bounty, maybe not the absolute cheapest at 1.7 cents per sheet. Um, but it's stronger, more absorbent, and everything else than the dollar store brand. Uh, which is seven tenths of a cent per sheet but you know what if you're in a bind if you're on a really uh, fixed budget um, nothing wrong with going with this because it's a dollar as opposed to having to buy a pack that could cost you like you know twelve dollars if you can't afford it then just go with the dollar store one you um, can do anything but poorly. and that other generic ultra thing um, most expensive not as absorbent not as strong as bounty so I think that test is successful. Are you going to have eggs for dinner? I am. So, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out the other videos where I'm testing things so you don't have to.